Rolling Star Beetlejuice going to explode in our lifetime after all? A new unpublished study is making waves on the internet by claiming that one of the brightest stars in the night sky might die in a spectacular explosion within our lifetime. What is the evidence for Betelgeuse being in its death throes? Let's see. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star of spectral type M1-2 and one of the largest visible to the naked eye. It is usually the tenth brightest star in the night sky and, after Rigel, the second brightest in the constellation of Orion. It is a distinctly reddish, semi-regular variable star whose apparent magnitude, varying between plus 0.0 and plus 1.6, has the widest range displayed by any first magnitude star. At near-infrared wavelengths, Betelgeuse is the brightest star in the night sky. Its Bayer designation is Alpha Orionis, Latinis to Alpha Orionis and abbreviated Alpha Ori or Alpha Ori. Betelgeuse is a well-known bright red supergiant that shows semi-regular variations with four approximate periods of 2200, 420, 230, and 185 days. While the longest period was customarily regarded as LSP of unknown origin, we identify the 2200-D period as the radial fundamental mode, and the three shorter periods as the radial first, second, and third overtones. Betelgeuse has shown unprecedented activity in recent years, transitioning from a state of extreme dullness to a remarkable surge in brightness, increasing its brightness by about 50%. Is the star Betelgeuse going to explode in our lifetime? A new study, currently available on the online preprint server R14, conjectures that the red giant star Betelgeuse, the left shoulder of the constellation Orion also known as Alpha Orionis, may have less than 300 years worth of fuel left in its core. When the star burns through those last drops, its core will collapse into a black hole and in the process blast out the star's outer layers at enormous speeds of up to 25,000 miles, 40. 000 kilometers per second. This fiery demise is what astronomers call a supernova explosion, and in the case of Betelgeuse, it will be a spectacular sight for observers on Earth. Since the star is only 650 light years from Earth, those layers of gas and dust will shine as bright as the full moon in our sky for several weeks. The problem is that most astronomers don't think that Betelgeuse is ready to go bang just yet. So what makes the researchers behind the new paper think otherwise? The paper has not yet been peer-reviewed and published, so some of its shortcomings might get addressed before it gets officially released. Thank you.